Well, just what you don't expect when you're in Portugal. It is raining like crazy. I've walked around the building twice and I can't find a parking entrance. Maybe it's down here. Well, because the only steps growing below ground. Hey, yay! Now I've got to remember where I parked that car. <laughs> well, we were going to uh, shoot this little section of video because it was torrential rain. Torrential and literally just started videoing and uh, it disappeared. Like, what the heck? We are going to a town called Guimarães. Guimarães. Literally the, I don't know, 40th toll booth we've been through. If you haven't rented a car in Portugal, pay for this uh, transducer. They've had 20 euros. Definitely worth it. Just keep on going, keep on trucking. And if you don't pay for it, you actually have to go in every four days and make sure you pay for all your tolls because you only have five days to do it. Wouldn't that look pretty if it wasn't all in the cloud and foggy and it would probably be super pretty. I think it looks pretty in the cloud too. And it does. It does. That's where we're going. Glenn saw a sign. Probably. 150 meters at the roundabout. Take the second exit and stay on N206. Probably about 20 minutes ago that said Womaris or whatever town we're going to. And he was like, what? She's saying it's so-and-so. Anyway, we listened to her. We carried on. Yeah. And in 400 meters she let us at the astray. roundabout. Take the second Okay, now we're in the middle of some uh, <laughs> town or city. We have no clue where we are. This is truly <laughs> called being lost. I think that might be a butcher shop or something. There's animals hanging in the window. It's like ham legs or something. Pig legs. What's that? Like, why is that? Oh, yeah. This will be cool to walk around this city. <laughs> we're not staying here. Oh, we're not staying here. <laughs> we don't know where this is. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going to be walking around this city. So this is all you get. Enjoy <laughs> it. <laughs> Fountain as well in this city, wherever it is. <laughs> wherever it is. Hey, what a lot just. We literally have no clue where we're going. We are just listening to her again. We seriously have no idea where we are, but then we turn the corner, and I think that's a castle. Yeah, it's not the one we're looking. But for. it's not the one we're looking for because the one we're looking for is huge, and it actually still has the walls, and that's reconstructed walls. And Too many castles in this city. This guy must be using Siri as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Found it at last. There it is in the distance. The elusive Guimarães Castle. That took the longest time to locate using uh, Google Maps. And there she is. What a fine specimen of a castle that looks like. Glenn has gone to the castle up there, way up there, and I am just going to do a quick venture through this little village. We finally found the castle, by the way. Look at all the grapes up there. How cool is that? Look at them all. Wow. So. Okay, well, I've walked around three sides, so I sure hope the entrance is on this side. There we go, let's go inside. Well, can this day get any better? I just uh, tried to get in the castle and buy a ticket, and I was told no. 
you have to go to the palace first and buy a ticket to the castle from the palace and the palace apparently is this way so I'm gonna find a royal palace don't know if you can go in the palace but that's where you buy a ticket for the castle that definitely looks like some kind of palace through the trees here so the chimneys are huge huge round chimney stacks yeah it looks like they're gonna have some kind of medieval fair or medieval fate happening now to find out how you get into the palace wow already spectacular this is inside the palace internal courtyard here I did get a ticket for the palace and a castle that's yes, very palatial in here keep to the right we're inside the palace Well, that was a bit of a disappointment. So as I walked into the palace, I was told no videoing. You can take pictures, but no video. Just still pictures with no flash. I do have the ticket for the castle. So that's where we're headed now. So back to the castle with ticket in hand. It was six euros for a ticket for the palace and the castle. So the ticket worked. I got in through the uh, ticket booth there and we're in the castle. So let's take the opportunity to have a look around. You can tell the castle is built on a rock when the rock's right there poking through the inner courtyard. How tall is that? Wow. That's high. I'm going to take these stairs up here. Climb up onto the battlements. A roof. This is one of the turrets. And what do you know? Some medieval vending machines. Obviously there used to be floors, wooden floors in here. With rooms. There's a an old fireplace that would have been in one of the rooms. There's the view from one side of the castle. There's another fireplace. And carry on doing the whole circle tour. Ah, there's the old town. A lot older buildings. Ah, now it looks like you can cross into the main keep over this bridge so we'll do that let's go for the top now we're at the very top down we go so I did read inside the interpretive centre that the bridge across to the main tower used to be in the day a lift bridge so that once you're in there you could lock the door and lift this bridge up. And there we have it. There's the castle. Oh yeah, and by the way the castle was built in... Uh, what was it? The 10th century. And there we are, we've arrived, Hotel Mestre de Avis. So the hotel gave us a parking pass to park just around the corner, but it's in this, literally, in this underground bunker. So the town of Guimare, beautifully historic. And it's the first place we've been, we've been here a couple of hours exploring 
doing the castle, doing the palace. The only tourists we saw were at the castle, and they arrived in a couple of busloads. In the actual town here, it is complete local Portuguese only. I read the history of the building there. It was built in the 1700s, it looks much older. The noble person who was building it ran out of money, and there should have been a tower, a second tower, on the other side where there's just a house now, and the shop. But there should have been two towers, one on each side, and it never ever did get built. But they ran out of money, and it never happened. It feels very different in northern Portugal. Guimarães, where we are, is in northern Portugal, north of Porto. Cervejaria Martins. Since 1951, so it's got to be good. We can order food. There's two prices. We got, well, in English it says worktop or terrace. And it's different prices. This one is more expensive. And we asked what it was. What's the difference? I thought it was a smaller portion and a larger portion. Yeah, which would make sense, but it's not. The cheaper price is if you eat inside the restaurant, in there. And the more expensive price is if you sit on the sidewalk. Well, not on the sidewalk, but at a table, at the sidewalk. You pay a more expensive price for being outside. Said wild cabbage and turnip soup. Wild cabbage and turnip soup. How could it be any better than that? It tastes really buttery as well, right? Mm. Really buttery. But we decided on tapas for uh, brunch, no brunch, for uh, lunch dinner. So, bread basket, these are pork risottos, fish balls, local chorizo sausage. This is locally produced chorizo sausage, spicy sausage. Served with a mustard. I won't call it hot spice, but flavoured spice. It's lovely. Look at that bruschetta. I would call that pizza bread or something. I don't know about bruschetta. And look at those crispy chips. Wow. So crispy. Yay. Unreal. And fluffy inside. Just the little back street on the way back to our hotel from the main square. Oh, look at the buildings. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Yeah, the street that our hotel is located on is very old, very quiet. It runs just off the main historic square. Look at the old house here. Well, it was an old house. No roof on it. Look how small these houses are. This block here, those four windows, that's like house number 241, 243, 245, 247. My goodness, that's uh, four houses in that tiny block. A random ancient monument. This is literally the cheapest supermarket ever. We're well away from any tourist town. We're in the middle of Guimaras in northern Portugal. And like the prices compared to Lisbon or any of the other towns that are very touristy, rock bottom. Wow, the cheeses here are gorgeous. The salt fish that's all over Portugal. Huge amounts here beautiful fresh fruit. Well, that was a beautiful supermarket, Bolama. Nice colours on the houses. Quite a cloudy morning in Guimaraz. We're down at the old town square and decided on a just a traditional breakfast. 
pastry, coffee, tea. Start watching the world go by. Look at the taxes in uh, Guimarães. Beautiful Mercedes, all of them all lined up, ready. And the drivers are actually dra dressed in shirts and ties. Probably the nicest taxis I've ever seen. How nice is this? Morning coffee. The church bells are ringing. Oh, it's a bike race. Well, it's not a very nice day with the rain for the pit stop. Not right, for the pit stop, for the bike race. Well, several hundred competitors anyway. Old, young. A couple of car, uh, these tricycle carts for physically challenged people. So these old ladies are having a ride in there. How cute is that, eh? It stopped raining, so time to make a run for the car. Stop. And we found our parking. We were a bit dubious at the beginning because it was so weird to get out of that building, but here we are. Yeah, it's just a black hole that goes underground here. It's such a weird parking setup. D4? D4. We are in D4, we found it. We're going to see if the uh, medieval market at Guimari's Castle is open. It was surprisingly easy to find parking. So I'm thinking it probably doesn't open until the afternoon. What do you think about that for a castle runner? Lovely. It's bloody castle shaped, isn't it? It sure is. Yeah, the castle literally built on solid rock. That's what I fancy for dinner tonight. Roast boar. There's a number of jousting poles. They can have a jousting competition. There's a shield for one of the knights when they're jousting. With a coat of arms on it. The old medieval cart. They're setting up ready to roast the pig or the boar. Whatever they're going to roast on there. And these are probably the vegetables and flowers they had at a market in medieval times. There's carrots and wild cabbage. Torture, instrument of torture. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's even medieval people here, transported from the 14th century. And the fair carries on all the way around the palace as well as the castle. There's dry fruit, nuts. How about this for fresh fruit? Look at those olives. Bread. That bread's amazingly good looking. <laughs> Just looks tasty. Here we got pig. There's, there's a pig's hoof, trotter. Roast pig. A sausage. Here we got spices. All kinds of spices. My goodness, the smell here. Choose away. I'm thinking shawarma. Shawarma, okay, that one. And then they have a tandoori, a harissa. Oh, that tacos. Smell the tandoori from here. I know, so can I. And then wow. that paprika is gorgeous. And then they have a chimichurri next. I'm stuck, I don't know what to get. Oh, you really want bright red everything, don't you? Bright red. Uh, paprika. On that one. What is that one, Roman? Moroccan. Moroccan, yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna have my head in the bag the whole drive today. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much. Oh, sweets. We got baking. Oh the tarts. Look how big those tarts are. We haven't seen the tarts that big. Oh my yeah. Right? Hey, another castle. <laughs> That's cool for the kiddies to play in. Oh, we got swords, swords and axes for sale. Cool. Ten cents. Okay, it's teamwork, boys. Teamwork. It's a kids camp. That's cool. That's difficult. You get the ball all the way to the end. That's difficult. <laughs> So this is cool. This is uh, a little mock set up medieval kitchen for the kids. They're going to get the water boiling and then they're going to teach kids what the medieval people used to eat. Even that fire smells so good. I don't know what wood it is. Mmm. Could do some burgers on that. Weaving lessons. How to weave. It's a neat statue. This is what I'm talking about. Rhonda, I got something to show you. Slowly turn it. How cool is that? There's the palace in the background. A couple of guys here, they've got jousting poles or not jousting poles, they've got uh, Spear poles. They were having a little fight, we just missed them. Oh, what have I spotted in front? Hold on, let's have a look. What is that? Cerveja. Cerveja. It's a beer, a beer stand. Mmm, nice. So, had to stop at the beer stand. This is a, uh, what's this, cider. We'll get your expressions when you have a sip of it. It's what medieval people will drink. That's super cool. Apple cider almost. So it was five euros. You pay um, three euros for the cup and two euros for the cider. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Rhonda had to have something. What have you got? Ginger. It's kind of like a port, like a cherry liqueur, I guess. Yeah. It's nice? Yeah. Better than my cider? Yeah. Way better. Your cider has like a like an herby aftertaste to it that I don't really like. So, and you get to keep this cup. And we get to keep that cup, and it matches the other one. There's the guards with the spear poles. <laughs> so it's a set up little market where they actually yell at people to buy their produce. I guess that's what they used to do. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Don't kill him. Okay. 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 Hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> that was one brilliant medieval fair down there. That was an awesome day.